I work for a drag me like you. I live on the road like you. Yet I've seen the eagle bearer. Your deeds are worthy of the stories. With all that's happened in Macedonia, I guess you can't stay here. I don't know. We always run, ever since I was a child. My mother would find a way. No matter if we were by the side of a road or in a cave somewhere, she'd find a way to keep us warm, safe, like we had a home. I don't know if I'll ever feel that again. She's gone now. Years ago, same with my siblings, the Order. The last time we saw them was the last time I saw my brother Natakas alive. What about you? What about your past? I never knew a true home either. I grew up fending for myself, hoping there'd be a place out there where I'd feel, as you said, warm. I haven't found it. And anyway, I don't think it exists. We're shaped by our pasts, not defined by them. They are Persians, you say? Darius claims to have killed King Xerxes himself. Ah! You don't believe that, do you? I do believe it. Of all the lies he could tell, that's one of the most unbelievable. A lie worthy of Dolos himself. I don't know what to believe anymore. Darius says this Order of the Ancients are here to find me. The note he found mentioned others. There are others like you? If I believe him, there are. But how do I know that Darius isn't working for the cult? Or in the Order himself? You say he's heard you're a great warrior. Maybe he wants to use you to help him fight against this Order. If he's not one of them. The simple question is, do you trust him? It's impossible for me to truly trust anyone. Ouch! Except you, Varnavas. It sounds like you need to go back to these Persians if you want to know what's really going on. Darius is hiding something. That much is clear. Then be careful. Make sure whatever he is hiding isn't a trap. I'll be as careful as I always am. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> <laughs>